We're in the middle of the sea. And this little boat here is carrying thousands and thousands of pounds worth of camera stuff. This is a bad idea. Let me explain how we got here. A couple of days we're sitting back home discussing ways that we could come up with new video ideas. The only problem was that we didn't have a lot of time and we've done a lot of our usual local favourites a whole bunch of times already. So after not really getting anywhere, I did what I tend to do best and have an afternoon nap. <laughs> and Abby did what she tends to do best, which is go into a hyperactive planning and researching mode. And by the time I woke up, she looked me dead in the eyes and said, <laughs> we're going to Portugal. Okay, so we've just touched down and the bad news is we have no hotel booked for this evening and it's getting late. The good news is, however, we do have a plan. So we're just trying to find our hire car just now. Not quite sure which one it is. Just found our hire car. Can you guess what the plan is yet? <laughs> and not only had she sorted out all of our flights, she'd also sorted out our accommodation. This. After sleeping behind the airport, in what was probably a restricted zone, we moved on, heading in the direction of a hidden oasis we'd read about online. Okay, so this afternoon we are on the hunt for one of the Algar's best kept secrets. Uh, just a heads up, if you're ever planning on coming to Faro, this is the best time to come. It's middle of November, it's like 23, 24 degrees, beautiful weather, and no one's even around. The roads are quiet, and I think we're going to get this all to ourselves as well, because we haven't seen anyone so far, so fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. The trail took us around 20 minutes and as we descended down the sunburnt hills, the path got gradually steeper and the bushes rose taller around us. So we're not actually quite sure how to get to this hidden gem, but we're just <laughs> chosen one of the paths that looks like it must be the right one. Oh, look how unreal those views are. I really hope it's down this way, but yeah, it's just incredible. I've just found this and it's got the hook on it <laughs> to hook over the swing the cool one then babe <laughs> should I give her a go? Yeah. <laughs> fair enough Bob <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Bob no, no, no way are you getting that <laughs> isn't that so cool? 
Okay, so we have arrived at the Pego do Inferno. It is unbelievable actually. It's pretty spectacular and kind of magical looking. However, I don't think it's rained here in a while. So unfortunately there is no waterfall. I think normally uh, when there's been heavy rainfall and things, there's a lot like big massive waterfall. You can swim under it. There's a rope swing. But yeah, we're not sure how shallow the water would be right now, so don't really think we can go in on the rope swing, which is unfortunate. But yeah, still gotta go in for a swim, right David? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go test out the water and uh, see how cold it is. I think it's probably gonna be pretty cold, but we'll see. Pego do Inferno is a tiny place lost amongst the citrus groves in the western part of the Algarve. It's known locally as the Pool of Hell, after an old legend told that anyone who swims in it is taken straight to hell. So naturally, we couldn't wait for a wee swim. <laughs> and he's in. How is it? Refreshing? <laughs> Refreshing. A van life shower. <laughs> oh, it is deep. Hello, deeper than you think. Although the waterfall had dried up, it was still an incredibly peaceful spot and with no one around for miles, and just the sound of the trees and the birds for company, we could have stayed for hours. But, with a crisp glass of white wine calling our names, we head back to the van. We parked up in the town of Cavero and found a small local wine bar. The wine was delicious and after our third or possibly fourth glass, we devised an ingenious plan. It turned out that just down the road was a world famous cave that was only accessible by water. But with local boat trips carrying tourists to the spot constantly, getting the cave to yourself is said to be next to impossible. So with a little Dutch courage, we made the decision to swim there. And with that, we head back to the van and set our alarms for the crack of dawn. Oh, why would you? <laughs> don't you wonder why we do this? <laughs> oh, fuck. Packing all of our shit into this stupid boat. <laughs> do you know which way it is? I think it's this one. Oh, God, the moon is still out. Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. With barely two hours sleep, water has never looked less inviting. Definitely doing something. I think we shouldn't be. <laughs> but we prepped the vessel that was to carry our equipment and marched into the waves. Right. Although the cave wasn't more than a couple of hundred meters along the cliff, the fact that we had entrusted our expensive camera equipment in Lidl's finest £5.99 inflatable baby boat had us a little on edge. We're in the middle of the sea and this little boat here is carrying thousands and thousands of pounds worth of camera stuff. Fuck. This is a bad idea. I think we'll find what we're looking for. Oh, just as we thought we were safe, the waves close to the shore got bigger, and Abby, as always, remained calm. Thank you. That's your dry bag. Thank you. 
The cave was stunning, and as the sunlight crept into the cave and the crash of the waves echoed around us like cannon fire, we couldn't help but feel like we stumbled upon a once-in-a-lifetime experience in an incredible location. What started out as a silly suggestion over a bottle of wine had resulted in one of the most memorable adventures we'd ever had, and we were glad to have made the trip. But we still don't recommend swimming there. Okay, so that is it for the cave. We made it here, obviously like a couple of shipwrecked survivors. Yeah. The waves are getting pretty big now, so not really looking forward to getting back out there. No, um, definitely not. Either way, the cave has been unreal, like just stunning. I don't think any of the footage that we will get today really does it justice, but we've done our best. Yeah. And that's us for this one. Yeah, that's us. So time to get back in the boat. <laughs> well, get our camera stuff back in the boat and swim back to the shore but we will catch you in the next one. Bye. Good luck.